Hi everybody and welcome to a topic that I have been thinking about for quite a while now and I know I've already touched on this on our tools tutorial I think from quite a while back you'll find that a bit further up in the live in the library but today I wanted to share with you the I guess the evolution of sustainability thus far from from my end or how I've found this journey to be because what I'm finding and hearing from a lot of you as florists out there is this resistance of of not even knowing where to begin. What do I start with first? There's so many you know, products coming out and there's so much greenwashing and I just don't know how to, how to change the processes and the products that I'm using. So today I wanted to show you um, a few you know, different and, and varieties of ways that you can transition into a more sustainable and more ethical um, business in regards to your design. So, First of all, let's start with a new product that's on the market, Ocean Pouch. This is fully compostable, biodegradable, uh, and is just coming into the um, into Australia, but it's been in the industry, I'd say for a year or two now uh, over in the States. And we'll, we'll let it absorb the water and I'll keep talking as we go, but you're essentially stabbing a few little holes as water absorption and submerging this, oh, making a lovely mess there on my table. Submerging this little pouch to absorb the, moist, the moisture and it, and it starts to expand. So I'm gonna show you how we can use that in a minute. But relatively new product on the market and as by all accounts is 100% biodegradable and compostable. Now let's have a look at our construction mechanics. So I might as well start with the one I have right in front of me here. You know I've been, um, well you may not know, but I invest a lot in my own learning uh, from other designers, experimentation, really s researching lots of different ways to change the way we're doing things in this industry and finding alternatives to obviously foam and plastics, especially for me in the funeral area of our industry, there's just so much foam and plastics being used and it's a, we, we have to make a better choice and we have to move in a better direction. So this was my alternative um, that I've been having a little play with and it's worked really, really well um, as a casket cover base. I will talk you through uh, this mechanics in more detail in a further tutorial when we actually design in it, but I have been designing in it and training other florists to design with it and it's working really, really well. Essentially, we've got a, a uh, chipboard base, uh, palm leaf bowls, uh, sphagnum moss there to provide a, um, a, a water retention, but also just to add as a, as a way of, um, I, I guess, abs absorbing the water, but stopping the water from sloshing around in the bowls. Uh, the bird wire on top and stapling it to the board with the tie wires. So again, I'll talk to you about this in more detail in a further, um, for the tutorial, but I just wanted to share, you know, that experimentation process, but that is working so, so well. Um, frogs. We've, you know, I've shown you these a million times. They're now vintage, <laughs> but it really was the old school way of designing and it's coming back, definitely. And if you see any of these anywhere at an op shop, make sure you grab some because they're so fun to use. They're so beautiful to design with and they're just little art pieces even all on their own. You've got the metal Kensens. Again, I've showed you these before, but I just wanted to share them with you again as alternatives to, you know, our, our foam products because there's so many ways that you can use these, that you can incorporate these into designs, bring them back to the studio for reusing or selling them to your clients so that they're feeling confident and they start using them as well. Um, you've seen me also use a, a, just a, you know, a rusty old can of uh, baked beans or this one, these little uh, mushrooms that we can wrap in hessian and use those to be attached on flower towers, arbors, um, it, you know, larger installations. They just work so well and again you're just recycling a product that would normally go to the landfill, go to the bin. 
Uh, this company I've shared with you before as well is Paper Pottery. These have been working so, so well, especially with a bird wire insert. They hold water, they're fully compostable, biodegradable, great product to use as opposed to some of your other um, maybe less ethical containers that we that we are filled with in the industry. Uh, I've the plastic version of parafilm and fluorotape, which is the waxed paper version. Really, there is, I actually prefer to use this now. There really is no need to be using the plastic version. Um, I've got it here for training purposes that I still help people to begin uh, learning to tape, but honestly, the fluorotape works so, so well. There really is no need to use the plastic version of that one. Um, you've seen me use, well, I think you've seen me use these before. This is your, you know, tie takeaway container. And I have used this so, so many times. I actually used them for a luncheon last weekend. And just because, I mean, they just work so well. They hold a lovely body of water. I've just got them held with a rubber band and, um, with fabric or leaves around the outside because they're so opaque they just disappear uh, of course they're not the most beautiful looking mechanic but they work really really well for long and low tablescaping and and table designs um, and of course you can't get more recycled than than that if we're going to use plastic let's reuse it again and again and again um, the vials. Now you know that I reuse my vials, but I have now since also found a fabulous alternative and that is bamboo and it's nothing new. Bamboo has been around for a very long time, uh, but when you cut the bamboo, you now have a, let's see if I can cut that for you. You now have a water tube and these have been working really, really well on, again, arbors, floral, towers. Um, you can attach them with two binding points there, fill them up, and you can put multiple stems in the bamboo depending on the size of the width of the bamboo that you cut. But a beautiful, organic, um, completely obviously compostable um, alternative to the plastic ones. And then when you do use the bamboo, you can have it on show. You know, you can have that as, as part of the design, as part of the water tube that you're using, rather than, you know, with something like this, we really feel the need to hide it and, and hide it with the mechanics. So really lovely idea to use the bamboo water tubes as part of the design. Another product I've been having a play with is a loofah. Um, this is a, a natural product. You, you might see a gourds, uh, and loofahs are on the same family and you're able to pierce through the loofah quite easily with stems or wired flowers or um, as a mesh as a way to create you know a really light easy headpiece with wiring your flowers through it so a really lovely base uh, almost like a, an alternative to a, a wire base mechanic for um, you know florals, wearables, things like that. Okay, um, the eco, um, eco wraps, these are fantastic. Uh, you'll find those, um, a, a fabulous little discount code available in my Ivy store to purchase these. I have used these for years now um, and they're basically like a biodegradable chucks. They fill up with water and allow you to wrap the stems. You can put a, a uh, biodegradable plastic outer layer and these will keep your flowers lasting well and truly for delivery. Um, I actually use them to take flowers, quite soft flower scabiosas and anemones and things like that out to a workshop where they were in these for 48 hours and the flowers was fresh as the, the day I took them out of the bucket. So really highly recommend a product like this as opposed to foam for delivering your flowers or presenting your flowers for um, you know an event or a presentation night. You can also wrap bundles of flowers in them and then hang them on 
um, stairwells or arbors and different things like that. So you can have also provide that water source, but just in a slightly different way. So these are really, really, really handy. Um, just wanted to show you a, a mechanics or a construction for a bouquet frame that I made um, as part of a 100% organic uh, bouquet. And that is using obviously the loofah in there to support my flowers and hold my flowers. It's also got bamboo tubes and a wreath base for the frame, um, which is my random weave technique that you'll see in the winter wreath. Um, which is also the same technique I use here for this little basket. So just by, I guess, what I kind of want to inspire in you is the techniques and mechanics that I share with you for one design don't have to be just stay for that one design. You can adapt that yourself to create a whole variety of, of different, um, you know, different vessels and, and different different uses, different purposes. But how beautiful to create your own baskets. And this is, you know, took me maybe 10 minutes to make. Um, obviously it's all out of forage materials and jasmine and honeysuckle vine out of the garden. Uh, and you've got yourself a really beautiful little basket. You could easily sit just a little, um, you know, little water source in here and design in these. So, you know, I really would, in, you know, encourage you to to use these mechanics and techniques that I show you to create a whole range of different products for your own business and for your own um, for sale in your in your store. Um, papers, obviously, over cellophanes. You know, that, that's obvious, and there's such an easy, quick fix. There's some beautiful papers out now. And I would in encourage you to just stay in line with your brand. Don't feel tempted to buy every single color paper that's available to you. You know, um, just buy one or two colors can, can really elevate your brand. And even if it is just brown paper, you, you're sending a message already to people that uh, of being a more earth conscious florist, I think, just in that one one decision alone. Um, something that I used to do with all of my bunches, and I used to wrap in, in brown paper as well, way, way back when, um, was actually wrapping the bunches with vine instead of ribbons. I could only find, you know, tear ribbons back in the day and or really expensive organzas. And for my everyday designs, I would wrap using daughter vine. Um, Take it around the bunch. It ties into you know ties into a knot really easily. Um, it's strong. It's sturdy. It does a beautiful knot, a beautiful little bow. And that was something that I use. It was very economical, uh, very earthy and organic, which I loved. And obviously, it's just going to go back into the soil where the flowers will go. Um, all right, let's me see if I've talked about everything. Now I just wanted to show you this ocean pouch. He has absorbed all of that water that was in that bowl. You can see it's a it's a lovely kind of little fat pillow parcel now and you can add more water to that bowl for sure. Um, but I just wanted to show you how to how easy it is to use to go insert and it just inserts there like that. So it's holding a really firm, you know, heavy stem of hydrangea in there without a problem at all. Um, it's just very easy to use. And I've, you know, I've seen lots of demonstrations with it. Um, it doesn't seem to leak. Um, you know, it's ticking quite a lot of boxes. I think they're, they're bringing them to, to down into the market at a quite affordable price and quite comparable to foam. So, you know, have a look at these alternatives. It, research them for sure. But when they're, um, you know, when they are endorsed by reputable companies in regards to sustainability and you can see that it's not being greenwashed and there is... Uh, you know, when you research, there's a lot of information, which which they do show that in Ocean, uh, as opposed to some of the foams, the old, you know, the bio foams that actually are worse than than uh, generic foam. Then give them a go, try them out. This is our opportunity now, while the market is really searching for for more sustainable alternatives. 
to to try these alternatives and it just might mean that you completely you know eradicate foam out of your design list and as you as part of your mechanics and that would make me so happy if that was the case. Okay, now before I go, I also just wanted to chat to you quickly about some tying alternatives. Um, you know, we see cable ties getting used all the way through the industry, not the recyclable ones. Everyone's just cutting them and leaving little bits of plastic everywhere. I know they're small little items, but they're still plastics that you can easily do without. So why is, bind wire is, is just like the, ne the best thing ever. But I have been looking at an alternative to even the bind wire. And I mean, this is paper covered wire and, and disintegrates within, you know, six months or something because it starts to get rusty and falls apart. But it's still a wire. So now I'm sort of looking at the other options. And this product that I've been, um, actually got onto this with uh, Hitomi, um, Gillum and Gregor Lursch who did a uh, organics workshop and uh, course that I did last year and this is wax coated hemp string so hemp string and it's coated in beeswax and it allows you to twist so you can essentially twist like you can with the wire and of course it's no wire and it's completely compostable and biodegradable and very natural and it's hamstring so it's very ethically sourced. So these are the sort of the evolutions, you know, yes there's still some bird wire in my mechanics because I haven't quite found an alternative just yet but I want to show you that that's an evolution and we're ever evolving. There's a few things here to consider. I really just wanted to showcase uh, some some easy alternatives and different things that I use, different products that I use and that I'm investigating and that I'm exploring and experimenting with so that I can I can evolve myself as a more sustainable and ethical and thoughtful business. Um, I think it's the only way forward and Bring floristry back to nature is what we have to be all about, right? It's just crazy that that uh, that we're lagging so far behind in the sustainability sector when we treasure nature and we showcase it every day. So I hope that's inspired you to to have a play and have a look at some of your more organic, compostable materials that are already around you and different ways that you can use them in your everyday floristry. All right, everybody. See you later.